Next up, we've got a look at Altina from Shining Beach Heroines. And it's just a very straightforward on the box, so let's go ahead and get her out of there. Now, Altina is from Flare, and although, interestingly, it's a Sega copyright on there, so. Uh, but yeah, it is Flare, Shining Beach Heroines. And here we have her out of the box. And I'll actually bring her closer here. Tell you what, I'll bring the camera closer. But they did a really, really, really nice job with the, uh, I love that translucence. It's very nicely appointed again. Now I'll show her with the skirt removed as well. I believe that's removable if I remember correctly. Yeah, really, really, really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and pause and I will confirm if that is removable on the skirt. And if so, we'll show what that looks like. So I kept wondering as I was trying to get her pareo, yeah, pareo off. I mean, I was really close to like, I was thinking it was unsnapping and I'm looking, Googling, couldn't find anything. So I was really close to trying to pull it apart there and I'm glad I didn't because that's not how it removes. That said, I had heard about the gap issue and I kept looking. I'm like, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, you know, yeah, maybe there's some like minor things, but I mean, it's nothing too terrible. And then as I realized how to get the parade off, what I thought was kind of like the paint line on top of the outfit here isn't a paint line, but it is actually a gap. If you can see that split right there. And that's what everyone's actually talking about. Um, it's a shame because, you know, once you see it, it's admittedly hard to unsee it. Um, they definitely could have done something a little different or better on that fit. That said, you pull that off, that's how the Pareo comes off. So this is what she looks like without the Pareo. So I mean, it's, you know, she really, really looks nice, but at a distance, um, especially because, you know, once you are aware of that gap, like I said, you, you can't unsee it up close, which really is a shame because it's, you know, otherwise just the detail and uh, coloring and whatnot is, I think, really nice. And just, I mean, they made a really, really good figure of her, but that was just a bad decision right there unfortunately and so only because of that I've got to knock it down to I would say a seven but that said I mean it's I don't know I would say I guess overall she's about an eight because if you aren't too focused on that she really looks stellar and would be like a 9 or 10 figure, but that, like I said, that gap, unfortunately, you cannot unsee it. And so she's really best viewed at a slight distance. You know, it's, I mean, if, again, now that I know, you know I keep getting drawn to that split. So if she's, I don't know, a few feet away, it looks really nice. Or even at a side angle, like here, you don't really see it at all. And that works very well, even up close. But 
you won't want to display her at this angle because it'll those gaps will be way too obvious there. Uh, left side too. So if uh, know, anywhere on the back side or I would say like this is probably like a more ideal way to position her and that way she looks her finest but yeah it's a shame that now I see the gap issue that people spoke of so uh, she's good she's not great um, just something to keep in mind because like I said you'll have to display her kind of at an angle uh, for it to really look ideal. <laughs> 